Joining us now for her very first television interview, Baronelle Stutzman and her attorney, Kristen Wagoner. Great to see you both. Thanks for coming in. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Uh, all right, Baronelle, I want to ask you, first of all, this customer was a longtime customer. I mean, you had a friendly relationship. You had done a lot of services with him. Why did you decide that you had to say no in this respect? And, and was it difficult for you to tell him that? It was very difficult for me to tell Rob that I couldn't do his wedding. Uh, I love Rob. He's, uh, he's very special to me. But because of my relationship with Jesus Christ teaches me that marriage is between a man and a woman, I, I couldn't do his flowers and, and create something that was special for him because it would, it would dishonor Christ. Did you have any idea you would end up where you are today when you made that decision? No, because Robin, when Rob came in and, and told me he was getting married and I told him the reason I couldn't do his wedding, uh, we talked about how he got engaged and we talked about his mom and maybe his mom could walk him down the aisle and he asked me if I had any other floors that I could recommend and I did recommend three because I knew they would do a good job for him and I knew he wanted something special and we hugged each other and he left. And from what I understand, he was able to get services elsewhere from, from one of the folks that you recommended. Um, but Kristen, this snowballed into something um, for a lot of people would be very unexpected from that conversation that you think is a, a friendly um, refusal to participate for very private reasons. Yes, the Attorney General contacted the couple. Um, they didn't file the initial complaint. The Attorney General took it on after reading reports in the media. And the Attorney General has relentlessly pursued Baronelle ever since. The court's decision, as well as the Attorney General's actions, are sending a very clear, unmistakable message to Baronelle and anyone like her, which is that if you dare to decline, um, the government will bring about your personal and your professional ruin if you don't help celebrate same-sex marriage. And Baronelle, they, they offered to make you a deal. They said you pay this fine, but also stop refusing specific weddings and we'll call it a day, and it's all over. And you said? No. Uh, it's not about the money. It's about freedom. It's about my eight kids and our 23 grandchildren and, and the future and now. Uh, there's not a price on freedom. You, you can't buy my freedom. And if it's, it's me now, but tomorrow it's going to be you, you got to wake up. Do you think people get that? Do you think maybe hearing your story, seeing a real person and knowing this is how these policies play out, um, you know, we talked about it wasn't possibly that you would just be out of business, but we're talking about a decision by the Attorney General here, the State Attorney General, that sounds like they could come after everything you have personally as well. They're talking about bullying me into doing something that is against my faith. They can't do that. They can, they can take away they can get rid of me, but they can't get rid of God. Do you think that there is a way to coexist? Do you think we'll come to a solution where um, you can have your religious beliefs but still have friendly relationships with people that you disagree with and there's space for everybody to operate in that without anyone getting sued? That would be my hope. That would be my hope, yes. All right, well, quickly, do you, I, I'm assuming you plan an appeal. We will appeal. There's not just the right of uh, under the First Amendment for her free exercise of religion, but free expression. She's an artist. There's All a right. lot at stake here. Kristen Baronell, thank you so much, both of you, for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. We'll keep track of your case.